I was homeless, I didn't have a house Sleeping in my car outside my friend's house He walked out, said come inside Why you sleeping in your ride? You know it's cold outside Can't eat food, ain't no place to live Good advice, I'm better than a better So get on the grind Don't give up my nigga, you guys in the shine Get on your feet, nigga Greetings, 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 greetings. Brothers and sisters all over the world. My name is Fee Taylor. And welcome to another episode of Positive Lifestyle Management Awareness Session. I have my co-host with me, a main man, brother Santario, AKA Midnight. And our topic tonight is a very, very, very important topic that everybody needs to know about. This topic is is so serious that we have to be able to uh, grasp the significance and the seriousness of the things that will be discussed tonight. But before we begin this here, we, uh, I would like to say, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comments, send in your comments, and hit that notification bell so that you can always receive uh, notification of when positive lifestyle management is supposed to be something. So at this time, I would like to turn the mic over to my to my good friend and brother, Mr. Uh, Santario, a.k.a. Midnight. Take the mic, my brother. How y'all doing tonight, man? Uh, like I said, um, it's, it's just a great opportunity, you know what I'm saying, and a learning experience in dealing with this particular information we're going to be dealing with tonight. Tonight, we're going to be looking at a lot of historical facts, a lot of things that, you know, we need to know, you know, uh, as is, is the quotation that says, to be aware is to be alive. So, you know, with that being said, you know, this particular awareness session is going to allow us to see the the issues and the key elements that took place in dismantling uh black movements uh in their early stages and with that being said i turn it back over to my uh big brother Steve taylor okay uh like our brother said this is a good top it's a good topic to show how organizations was dismantled by the government. And so what we're gonna do at this time, is the letter that we're gonna be going over tonight is a very important letter. And the letter is the October the 28th, 1982 letter. And it was, it's the introductions to awareness sessions documents. So this mm -hmm. is the reason, one of the main reasons why we titled our uh, program awareness session. And the reason why we are here to bring awareness to, to the brothers and sisters who have been fleeced by uh, people who speak with folk, uh, forked tongues and non-believers. There are many of them out there. And so our people have been fleeced over the last 10, 15, 20 years. And so now it's our responsibility, those of us who have been fortunate enough to make our way back to society, it's our responsibility, and I know it's my responsibility as a true brother of the struggle to bring the true enlightenment on what's occurring. Now, in this October the 28th introductions to awareness sessions document, this document that they are talking about, which we will be discussing in the future, and uh, me and the brother Leland Evans Eel has already started with the document but we haven't really gotten deep into it. And that document is called the 33 pages. It's the Woodlawn Experiment. This document was part of our knowledge for us to be able to read and understand so that we can know exactly what the government did and what they are doing today. And it goes all the way back during the time of slavery. So this comes all the way up, and then y'all will be able to see the correlation. But now, this don't have nothing to do with just with no particular set of group of peoples. This has a, a race of peoples. This has to do with a mindset. 
this document has to do with a mindset. No matter what color you are, no matter what race, what color, what creed you are. So now we're going to get off into this introduction to awareness session document. October the 28th, 1982, to all brothers of struggle, read introduction to awareness session document. Due to sections beginning, all members haven't received this document. All members haven't received this document. A brief elaboration is being given here concerning this documentation to erase some of the misconcepts that have been gained from many of our brothers or many of our members. So there was a lot of misinformation going on back then because people really didn't know what was going on. So in order to clear up this misinformation, they had to bring out the true information. And that's the same thing that's occurring right now today. There's a lot of misinformation that's occurring. So now that's why you always see me, Brother Midnight, Brother Leland Evans Eel, and many other brothers who take these, who has created these, these platforms, not for economical purpose, not for clicks, not for any of this thing, but to bring you and to bring the peoples the real on what's going on, to dispel and to get rid of the agent provocateurs. This is what we are about. This is what we are doing. So I'm a, uh, my brother Midnight, do you have anything you would like to add to this? Yeah, and it's basically, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, this is about opening the mind. You know what I mean? Uh, as I've said before, in one of the awareness sessions, you know, Sigmund Freud talked about three levels of consciousness which represents our awareness, you know, and we, as being a part of Positive Lifestyle Management, Reconstruction Minds, and Project Righteous Endeavors, we are here to awaken the minds of our youth and of the brothers and sisters. You know, for so long, you know, we have seen the different things that has been taught, all the misconceptions that we have heard for years. And now, and now this is the most ample opportunity for us to know and learn the truth. So with that being said, you know, either we are conscious, we're in the knowing, we're pre-conscious, we somewhat know, or we're unconscious and not knowing. And as given in the example of the elevator, those who don't know and somewhat know, we want to bring them up to speed. We want to bring them up to a level of being in the knowing. True. So this documentation is about elevating the minds and hearts of the brothers and sisters so we can see without a shadow of a doubt what was going on back then. True. Now, it says hereby, we hope that you will be motivated to read and study this document in your possession. The document that they are talking about is the 33 pages. Mm -hmm. It was talking about the 33 pages, and it was called the Woodlawn Experiment. It came from the organization to the Woodlawn Organization. So this is where you get the Woodlawn Experiment from because it was based on uh, uh, the Woodlawn Organization. It was a total uh, experiment. And as time go on, everybody will be able to know the truth. So... That when, this ses that when the sessions begin, you will come in the right frame of mind. So what was happening was that the, the brothers and the sisters, now the brothers at that time, excuse me, mentioned the sisters, but the brothers at that time was preparing us to, to give us the 33 pages so we can study it. So that when we come into the awareness sessions, we'll be able to ask questions. We'll be able to uh, dialogue with an open mind and ask the right questions. 
They say this documentation, so-called experiment, is not merely about or on the BPSN. Mm -hmm. Meaning it wasn't about or on the Black Peacestone Nation, but it was a it was a documentation that was that, that it is a documentation that mentions the BPSN, but it was merely about the BPSN. It was about how uh, the unseen hands, what they did in order to create chaos and mishap and mishaps and mayhem inside our communities. Exactly. But a well-conceived plan of manipulation and infiltration inside our community. Manipulation and infiltration. No. Let me go back. A well-conceived plan of manipulation and infiltration inside our community. So this was something that was set down, thought about, planned and executed in order to manipulate and infiltrate our community. The same things is going on right now today with social media, with guys selling bogus information, guys selling emblems and six point stars and putting out these bogus audio blueprint books and manipulating the minds of the peoples putting out this bogus stuff man that they call 720 concepts and all this all this stuff is manipulation and infiltration inside our community and we have to be well aware on what's going on exactly Exactly. And, you know, like I said earlier, you know, this is going to bring a level of awareness like never seen before. Right. Because it's, it, it's, it's within our community. It's within the family. So when we see those things happening, what do we do? How do we respond after so long of not truly being educated on what's going on in our very community? Mm. See, the two key words in that particular sentence is manipulation and infiltration. So to manipulate someone is to deceive them. To infiltrate someone or a community, you have to go in like you're a part of that community. Mm. But in essence, in spirit, you have a cloak of deception. You disguise yourself as a part of the community because the people lack the wisdom to discern what's really being what's really going on they lack the knowledge you know and it reminds me of a scripture in the bible where it says my people perish for a lack of knowledge because they reject it you know what i'm saying so we have to be mindful when truth is presented be aware of everything around you and be able to see everything around you 360 degrees sir so the main objective of this so-called experiment was to create games mm -hmm. as it stipulates on page one and keep us away from the concept of organization now watch this here mm -hmm. let's pay attention brothers sisters Pay attention. Go inside a lot of these groups. All you see is gang bang, disrespect, six point of stars, pitchforks, this, that, five point of stars, hats and canes, crowns, and 
blood sign, crip signs, straight game banging, not really understanding the members of these organizations, not understanding that what they are doing was, well, was a well-conceived plan of manipulation and infiltration exactly. inside our communities. And they want to keep you that way. That's why they sent out all these minions to get inside of the community. They come in as wolves in sheep's clothing. Felice the peoples, catch the young minds, disrupt the young minds with false representation of the real. They speak so well. They have been inside all these different groups. Then when it took speech classes, some have been in this organization, some have been in the Moor Science Temple, some have been in the Nation of Islam, some have come out of the church, some have come out of the mosque. They all, they, they, they have the vernacular, they have the words in order to create a spell on the minds of other people. And exactly. those who are really seeking the truth are vulnerable to their spellbound words and their actions. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know what's so crazy is that, you know, there was a time where they called these kind of people necromancers. Okay, break that down. You know. I don't know what that means. A necromancer, a necromancer was a person who believed in divination and in dealing with the spiritual realm. Future, uh, future tellers. If you can remember not too long ago, it was a woman that came out. Miss Cleo. And she called herself Miss Cleo. She's a fortune teller. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy that within our very community that we have those who speak well but in in essence it's an agenda of corruption it's an agenda to spark a delusion within the minds of the people you know what i try to tell your brothers and sisters in everything that I do when it comes to growth and development, mm -hmm. I stick to the black and the white. And I show you, I give it to you, so that a man and a woman can use their five senses. Mm -hmm. So that they can be able to think and to see on their own. Mentally think, mentally see through the eyes and exactly. the physical, you know what I'm saying? So they exactly. can see the truth. I'm gonna give you the truth. You give them the truth. Lily gave them the truth. A lot of other brothers are giving them the truth. If a person sits down and they tell you these things over and over and over and over, they're telling you a lie. Do you know how hard it is to unravel that lie when the truth comes? The truth, exactly. you know what I'm saying? But when the truth, but when truth is on the scene, falsehood will flee. But notice here, falsehood is going to fight to its very last end. And they fight now. But they fight with the government. Yeah. They are fighting with the government. Now, I want to mention this here. For all the brothers and the sisters that's using Mr. Larry Hoover's image, using his avatar, using these things <clears throat> please understand that mr larry Hoover is no longer a part of the gangster disciples mr larry right. hoover don't have no parts no participation in gangster disciples so out of respect 
because we know that you love them because a lot of you are doing what you're doing out of love and ignorance. Ignorance exactly. don't mean that you are dumb or stupid or something. It just means that you have a lack of knowledge. Exactly. So you are doing it out of love and ignorance because you think you're doing the right thing. But if you truly want to do the right thing, allow yourselves to do something positive. Keep away the insignias. Keep away the, the six-pointed stars, the representing, the throwing up the pitchforks and doing all these things because this is not helping him. It's not helping him exactly. or his family. So out of respect for him and his family, I am pleading with everyone out of respect yeah. to keep him, himself, away from that. And what I mean by that is, is here, the game banging aspects of it. Mm -hmm. If you want to represent the 60 point of star and what, the, what, what this man has given you, represent it in a positive, productive manner. Help yeah. him in a positive, productive manner. Exactly. So, so uh, that is because you see, by them doing that, they will understand. They will come to understand it, to a clear understanding that the essence of what we believe in is about lifestyle management. It's not about gang banging. It's not about throwing up signs. It's not about Six point stars. The true nature of what we of what we believe in is about living positive and productive lives, being a productive member of society. Now, I want to add this. As y'all can see, there's a six point star behind me, but I represent. The realness of that six point star. I represent yes. the love, the life, the loyalty, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding that came out of the blueprint. Yes. I am representing that aspect. I am not representing mm -hmm. the 1960, 70 mentality, game banging mentality of that star back there. Exactly. I'm representing the education and the economical, the political, and the social development of that stock. And so, that's what it's really all about. That's right. You know, you know, mastering the four initiatives of growth and development. Growth and development, the essence of growth and development is lifestyle management. And when we understand how to, how to manage our lives in a positive and productive manner, we can see the essence of having an education, learning economics, being a uh, uh, developing uh, polit uh, political development, you know, building relationships within our communities with those who we love, you know, the mayors, the city councilmen, you know, all these different things play a key role in our lifestyle development, individually and collectively. No, you say because let me let me let me finish. This. In the second paragraph, where it starts, I'm starting because, because as mm -hmm. we have manifested to you many times in the literature, organization is being organized, consolidated, unified, and being a power to reckon with. Brother Midnight, what is the definition of an organization? Organization is a unified and consolidated group of people with an executive structure that be deals with the well being of all its people. It's an executive structure of business and enterprise for individual growth and collective acceleration of the body as a whole. My man. And they say, then it gets down to power to reckon with. A power to reckon with is a force that has to be considered. When we are moving in an organized, consolidated, and unified manner, we become that power to be reckoned with. We become that force to be reckoned with or that force that has to be considered. 
When we are organized, consolidated, and unified, we have to continue what we're doing. We have to continue to be organized. We have to continue to be consolidated, and we have to continue unification within ourselves. Because if we're not unified, or uh, consolidated, and organized amongst ourselves, then this is the next thing is what happens. There. Who is there? Who is there? T-H-E-I-R. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. main goal was to bring this organization amongst the ranks of our people. There are, there is the government and their agent provocateurs or harlots. That's what exactly. I call them, harlots. They're prostitutes. Exactly. So exactly. that's who there is. And they are sitting right in our midst as we speak right now, pretending to be somebody and something that they're not. You can bring up a conversation with them and they'll try to take you in a different direction. They slithering like snakes on their belly. Exactly. So exactly. be aware, signs and symbols are for the conscious minds. So yes, continue to be conscious. My brother? Exactly, because, you know, when you're conscious, you're aware. You know, and it just takes me back to the quotation, to be aware is to be alive. How, do you, or how are you going to survive? How are we going to survive if we're, all, we're constantly caught off guard by the manipulators and the infiltrators? You know, it's just like, you know, when, when we're going through something, you know, it's not about anybody else. It's about us. We cannot allow these, as my brother would say, agent provocateurs to dismantle our family. We cannot allow them to, dismant to dismantle our oneness because the essence of being consolidated and unified is unity. Essence meaning spirit, the very spirit of being consolidated and unified is having a mindset of oneness. True that. One mind. Teach. One body. Teach. One soul. Teach. This is what it's all about, brothers and sisters. Teach. There is no big eyes in the universe. Teach. And once we understand what being together is all about, we will see the full potential of being a force that has to be considered. That's right. And Let's keep this understood. <laughs> we moving in that direction. We are moving in that direction. And we're gonna to continue to move in that direction. We're gonna to continue to work together. We're gonna to continue to, to, to uplift our brothers and uplift our sisters. We're not gonna allow these agents to continue to create and to lead and to direct the narrative, and that narrative is leaving our leading our people to the slaughterhouse, study leading them to death, study leading them to incarceration. We have to get away from the negative aspects of these things because what they're doing, these same agents are giving you heroin, giving you fentanyl, giving you the crack, giving you the guns. Then yeah. you go out and you create this and trying to think of this person is a good person. Then this thing you know you sitting in the Federal Bureau of Prison with 30, 40, 50 years. So we have to be mindful of what's going on around us. Very mindful. Because if we're not mindful, then we're going to find ourselves in that system. I just come out of that system because I was ignorant to what was going on. I'm no longer ignorant.
and I am going to expose all of the William O'Neills. That's the same dude that set up Fred Hampton and Mark mm -hmm. Clark. I'm going to expose all the Judas. You know who you are. And in due time, you will be exposed. So get out of the way. Get exactly. out of the way. Get out of the way. All of you. You know, because it, it, it really don't make sense. You know, at the end of the day, you know, what's done in secret will be brought to the light. You know what's what? done in the dark will be brought to the light. Before we get out of here, I want to read this next paragraph. And I'm not going to even do no elaborating on it. I want you all to elaborate on it. Through these awareness sessions on this document, we want our entire membership to become aware, educated, and knowledgeable of the effects slash defects that mm -hmm. plague our community. This so-called experiment was no more and no less than another phase of the government's counterintelligence program. program. It was a part of the same program that caused the entire, that no, excuse me, that caused the suffering of black peoples all across the country. This was the local manifestation dealing with Chicago area youth in particular. If you don't know what I just said, keep rewinding this video and keep listening to what I just said and allow yourself to think if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. You all know how to get in contact with myself, Brother Midnight, and Brother Leland Evans Eve. Y'all know how to get in contact with us. Reach out and you will be given the truth. My brother, would you like to leave us some closing parting shots? Yeah. And, you know, with that being said, brothers and sisters, now is the time. One of the things that Mr. Larry Hoover said in one of his interviews is that he's trying to awaken awaken the sleeping giant mm. within the individual. You know, and a lot of us have been asleep for so long till we, until we have lost our way. Mm. We have become unconscious to the very things that's going on right today. Look at, look at Chicago today. This is real, brothers and sisters. Look at the state of Chicago right now. All behind this counterintelligence program. All behind one program that was started years ago. In closing, I want to say this here. I am a field general, meaning I am in the field. That is not no position. That is not the title of no position. I am coming to you from a military point of view. I am boots on the ground, on the front line, working daily with those who need to be worked with. Yes, indeed educating, teaching, and guiding in the right manner. Because I do not want to see no man, woman, or child have to go through the things that I went through 
in my life. Exactly. I have done enough time for all of us in my life. One day is too much time. But just imagine yes, being gone for almost 48 years. Better say it. We have to continue to fight, to struggle, to free our brother. This man deserves to be home and out of the love and respect that he has shown us and me in particular, I will continue to fight for him no matter what. I appreciate everything that he did for me and for us when he was active and he was a part. Now it's our job to do for him and to preserve his positive legacy. And with that being said, hashtag free Larry Hoover now. This has been another episode of Positive Lifestyle Management Awareness Session. We thank y'all. We humbly thank each and every one of you for your love and your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Peace. Indeed. Peace.